Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know me. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Theme Park. Now, last episode, what? Last episode, we started building a giant safe that's going to have, hopefully, something like four, either three or four, uh, different sort of mini sections to it that you have to complete before this safe opens. Now, one of the ideas was a nine code pin lock thing that we can do and then the other one i wanted to do was some sort of uh block pushing thing <laughs> with uh with pistons that sort of push a block around and if you get it into the right place uh, it'll then complete that part of the puzzle but i don't know if you remember last episode i said that i like to have well, I've said many times that I like to have all of our games sort of resettable very easily. And a pushy-pulley block game is quite hard to make resettable. However, I think I've figured out a way. I've literally, in front of me right now, I have the tiniest scrap of post-it note that I've drawn a terrible sketch on how I think it might be able to work. So I'm going to be referring to my little note this episode. However, it's 13 blocks wide alone. That's without the redstone. And 13 blocks wide will get us from about the corner to about here. Which won't leave us much room for a pin code lock. Because a pin code lock actually requires quite a lot of redstone. So what I think we're going to do is actually build this um, as a separate little mini game this episode. Like oh, like a, an episode away from the safe here to do this. Because I'm really excited about it. Because I think I've got it in a way that's resettable. I think. So where can I put this note where I can... There we go. I can sort of you, you, you see it from here. Utilize it. I think we're going to do it next to it. Uh, but this is going to be hard. I'm not... This is not going to be easy. This is going to be incredibly difficult. And I don't know how well we're going to do it. So we're going to have a bit of a test episode today. Let's move a diamond block. Because I think it's quite a special block to be able to move. And we're going to need a block just to... For design. I'm just going to use white stained clay for the moment. So. For the moment... Right, this is the, by the way guys, this is going to be the easy part. Actually getting the pistons in place is the easy part. The hard bit is then um, connecting it and wiring it all up. Well, how it will work is we'll have a bunch of different pistons and like, I don't know, maybe three or five buttons. Let's get a button. Three or five buttons, something like, oh I can't put them there. Something like this. And when you push this button... I don't know, a third of the blocks move, uh, a third of the pistons move. If you push this one, another third moves. And if you push this one, the last third moves. So, like, a load of different pistons will push and pull at the same time. And you have to push the right buttons in order to get it to where you want. But we need it to be able to reset. So, we need, like, a final button to push the last pit or to, to pull one piston just to pull it from the finish to the start. Now, I think. I think we can do this. Is that enough height? I, I don't want to go too low and end up having it all wrong. I think I'm going to go there. So basically, basically, the way that this is going to work is once our block finishes here, we will be able to have an output, I don't know, to a redstone lamp or something like that or some fireworks to say, hey, you've completed it like that. So when the block's here, this repeater is... Um, activated which can then power whatever we want today oh, you've done it but until it's there it's off so we need to somehow get this block to here move it down one well that's a little bit where's my note gone oh, my notes fell off <laughs> it fell on the floor obviously one piston pointing downward would be boring so are you ready for this we know that the last piston has to face down like this, so then when the block is here, we can push a button. The sticky piston, this is going to have a combination of sticky pistons and normal pistons. This is going to be so fun. It's going to be hard to copy for you guys, but it's going to be so fun to build. So the last one will pull down, suck the piston up, back to this position, which is going to be the start. Okay, here we go then. We need a normal piston facing that way. And a normal piston. Ow. Just got punched in the face by my own piston. Facing that way. And a sticky piston. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I can already tell. A sticky piston there. 
This is why I done a note. Right, then we need a sticky piston there facing this way. So currently, you have to push this one to push the block to here. Then push this piston to put it to there. Then this one to pull the block to there. Then this one to pull the block down. Are you with me so far? I hope you're with me so far. Then what we need is another sticky piston here, which will pull the block to there. And a sticky piston oops, there, which will pull the block down. Okay, so far, so good. The next one is a tricky one. What we need to do is this is going to be a normal piston, but that doesn't do anything yet because we actually need to get the block from here to here, which is two blocks. And I think we can do this using a double piston extender. Let's just try and redstone this part up, um, just this little tiny one. I think we need, what was it? We've done this before. We've done this with um, our spaceship, but I can't remember exactly how it worked, how, how I ended up doing it. So we'll have it like that. We need this piston to power first, then this piston, no, then that one. To get it and then on the way back the way back is the hardest one we need that one to drop off first then this one then that one is that right no at the moment there we go okay that is right perfect so as you saw we managed to pull the block two blocks dink, dink. Dink, 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 dink. Wonderful. Oh, that's so good that we got that worked out. Okay, so we got the block to there. Now, this block, this piston, is going to push it down to here. And then we need another piston, a sticky one though, to then come up and grab it and pull it down to there. This, this is nuts, right? This is absolutely nuts. <laughs> I love it. Okay, normal piston. Here. Push the block to there. Then we can have a... Hold on. I'm just trying to get up. We need a normal piston there to push it down to here. Then we have a sticky piston there to pull the block here. <laughs> this is nuts. <laughs> this is totally nuts. Um, uh, this is going to be so hard to wire up. Can you, Having pistons so close together is hard enough, but this is going to be nuts. Normal piston to push it down. Then a normal piston here to push the block this way. I think you guys can keep up with this. You might have to pause the video a few times. Um, I don't know about the whole wiring up part. Sticky piston there to suck the block to here. A normal piston underneath to push the block up. Oh. Oh, is my drawing wrong? Hold on. That one and that one. Oh, no. No, that... <gasps> mm. Hold on. We can do it. If I take that out and put a torch there, that will still work. Because when it gets to the finish, it still powers that. It does power that piston as well, but I ain't going to be too bothered about that. Okay. No, we, we're still fine. We're still fine. So then, once that pushes it up, we need a... Oh, I can't have that there. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, my, my my drawing is no longer good. I've done my drawing wrong somehow. Oh, no, I see it. No, I was... That is how we had it, but 
I didn't think, oh, I forgot that that would power that. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. All we need to do is get it eventually to here. That's the goal one. So, no paper now. I can't sketch away. We need a double piston extend. That's one too short, isn't it? A double piston extender here. What did I break then? Oh, it was an autosave. <laughs> I was like, hold on a minute. I swear I heard something break. All right, so then let's do a double piston extender here. I like to wire these up straight away, and then I know if I've got it right or not. Okay, beautiful. So that pulls the block to there. I then need... Oh, if I... Hold on. No, we should be good. I then need... A... I can't have... I can't have pistons there. That's the problem. Can I have a piston below it? It's not going to power down, does it? Redstone torches don't power down. Ooh, they do power down. I can turn that torch off, though, with an input. No, what's powering that? Huh? Pardon? Oh, yeah, the lever itself is. Duh. Um... And that will still power it. That doesn't power it. But that does. That. How is that powering it diagonally? I have no idea. How are we going to get it from here? So we've got it there. Okay, no. Uh, the trouble is, if I put a block below here to push it up, it's going to activate all at the same time. And I think that's going to mess up the. Yeah, that messes that up. How can we do this? We can't we can't be stumped so close to the finish. We only gotta get it there. Okay, I'm gonna have to go away for a couple of minutes and have a think. I'll be back. Okay, I had a think for a little bit. The only option we have is a, to have a sticky piston here, because this gets dragged back to there. Then this sticky piston we can then activate, but we have to turn off this torch to do it. So we'll have to have like one little limp. It's gonna be so hard to wire up. I'm really not looking forward to it. But then we can un uh, unpower it and then power it again, which gets it to there. And then we gotta have something to then pull it this way. Because I can't do a push. So something to pull it that way. To get the block to there. Ah! And then. Can I do. I don't know how to do. A double piston extender downwards. Oh man. I can't believe my sketch was wrong. But if we do, if we could do that. We could get it. Boom boom. To pull it to there. And then. A double piston extender that way. Oh, these need... That one just needs to be a sticky piston. But the other one doesn't. And then that will then go chunk chunk and get it to there. Okay, but there are quite a number of problems that we have to overcome. That's nuts. That's, that's a huge thing to, to try and overcome. We, the first, the biggest problem for me, I think, is going to be the double piston extender that goes down. What we need to do is, is think about how it would even work. Like, we would need a piece of redstone there, which is that piece of redstone. And then on this one, we need a repeater. Oh, man, I don't even know how to... I might have to look at a YouTube tutorial. Okay, give me a couple of minutes, guys. I'm going to go and sort of think about how we're going to wire this up. Maybe see a tutorial or two uh, on a double 
a horizontal, no, a vertical double pistol extender, and I should be back. Oh, we've got a problem, guys. I've had to remove a part of it, that part of it because a vertical double piston extender is as complicated as I thought it would be and it actually requires blocks being on either side of it which means this piston wouldn't be able to be there. So, it's not the end of the world. We still need this block to be the finish but what if instead we had... Uh, we can't use a block of redstone, by the way, guys. If I used a block of redstone, it would power the piston it was connected to. You, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Um, but what we could have... I mean, there's a few ways we could do it, but what we could have... It's ugly, but if we done it like that, it still powers it. Take that way. It still powers it, so when the block's not there, it, it doesn't power our output. But when the block is there, it does. That's an option. Because if we do that one, that piston should then drop down again. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we can still get past it. Um, I don't know. We might be able to sort of hide that up in a way. It's hard to hide this up, isn't it? Hold on. Hold on. What if... Could I do that? This. That. And that. And then when the block's there, the light's on. So yeah, you just got to get it. Yeah, that's easy enough to explain, isn't it? All you've got to do is get it to the redstone lamp. Get it behind the redstone lamp. So then you end up pushing it behind it. Boop. And the light comes on. That's, that's simple. That's good. That's good. That's good. So where do we go? We had here. Push. Pull. Up. Double extend. Pull it up. Pull it this way. So the block's here currently. And then we need to, see this is, yeah, I can't do that. I can't, because I can't get the double piston extender vertical. So what if, there's another way around we can do it. What if we take that away? Currently the block's here. We had a piston then push it that way. Because we can have that there now that a torch isn't there. So it pushes it to here. Then we can have... Another piston that pulls it to there. This is still hard, isn't it? No, no, no. We can do it. We can do it. Then we have a sticky piston that pulls it to there. No, that needs... Eventually, there is, there's no word about it, we need a double piston extender that pushes it this way with a sticky one and then a normal one. That has to be the last one because then it pushes it there and then it pushes it there. So we need to somehow get the block to here. How can we do that? It goes there, up, sucks it to there, sucks it up, pushes it to there, pulls it to there. Ah, we're so close. It's unbelievably close. Hold on, I could have, I could have another double piston extender. Uh, like that. So then that, it pushes, it pulls it up, pushes it across, double piston extenders it to there, then pushes it up to there. We're so close. Then a sticky piston here. To put it, I want this to be like really cool looking and we're definitely managing that to, for there. No, because I'm just extending it out. I'm thinking about like coming from the top and coming down for the last move. 
Oh, I knew this was going to be so hard. Because <clears throat> you think, yeah, you just pull it up, but then it's in the way. That's the problem. Uh, up. Dink, 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 dink. Up there. I don't know if we can do it. I'm actually thinking that it might not be possible. At least in the configuration that we have. I'm going to have to go away for another couple of minutes. I'll be back. I think... I think I've got something. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to wire this up. I don't know if it's even possible. It's going to be so fun next episode when, when we try and do it. Because you got to think... This is the easy part. <laughs> this is the easy part of building this. But I think... It's not done yet, but I think we've got it. I've got it to here... Then it goes, it gets pushed up by the normal piston, gets sucked up to there by the sticky piston. Double piston extender pushes it along two blocks. This block then sucks it to there. And then all I need to do is get it to come down two blocks. Well, I think we can do that with normal piston to push it down to there. Sticky piston to pull it down to there. And then bunk bunk, it goes there to there to the finish so let's run through it you start off here you move this piston it pushes it across you move that piston it pushes it up you move that piston that pushes it right this one pulls it down this one pulls it right this one pulls it down these two activate pulling it back two blocks uh, that one then pushes it down this one pulls it down that one pushes it left. This one pushes it down. This one pulls it left. That one pushes it down. This one pushes it left. That one pulls it left. That one pushes it up. This double extends and then pulls it twice to the left. That one then pushes it down. The sticky piston pu pulls it down. It then gets pushed by the one on the right. Double piston extender pulls it to the left. Yeah, it pushes it to the left. That double extends to the left. This one then pulls it up. I'm checking if they're the right piston type as well while we go through here. This one pushes it to the left. This double piston extends it to the left. That one pushes it up. This one pulls it to the right. That one pulls it up. That piston right here pushes it to the left twice because it's a double piston extender. This one then pushes it up. This one pushes it to the right. That one pulls it up to there. This one then double extends bang bang to the right this then pushes it up this one then pulls it up double extends to the right this one then pulls to the right that one pushes it down this one pulls it down oh no i deleted it that one pulls it down and then double piston expand extender bang once, twice, the light lights up, you win. And then to reset it, you just need to power this piston here to pull it back up to the start. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. And then we need to power these pistons in a way that it doesn't affect like it doesn't matter obviously this one button will probably be hooked up to i don't know 10 pistons that one will be hooked up to 10 and that one will be hooked up to 10 something like that so a third of the pistons are all going to move at the same time as long as we don't have two pistons like as long as this one here doesn't activate at the same time this one does we won't have a problem because if they do it's going to mess up um but, like, this one can power at the same time as this one does. No problem. Either one of those. Either combination of those. But this one and this one here can't activate at the same time. This one will always need to fire after. But we should be able to figure that out with repeaters to get that timing. It's nuts. You can see why I have. I didn't think it would fit on the on the safe itself. I think I'm correct 
But boy, wiring that up is going to be nuts. I'm just going to stand here for a second. For those of you that want to copy this at home, I know I ended up cutting out a little bit towards the end there because I had to try and figure it out. But you can see what the um, what way the pistons are facing. And as far as them being sticky pistons or non-sticky pistons, uh, if they push a block, if they have to push it, they are normal pistons. If they pull it, they are sticky pistons. Every single double piston extender is a sticky piston. So both of them are sticky pistons. Both of these are sticky pistons, except for the last one. Oh, is it? Hold on. Let's just make sure that I'm not lying to you guys on the double piston extenders. No, I'm not lying to you. The only one that isn't is the last one here. This double piston extender pushes it twice. So the la the front one is a normal one. The back one is a sticky one. The front one is a normal one because you don't want the block to be pulled back after it retracts. I think that's the only double piston extender that pushes. I think all of the other double ex piston extender actually pulls blocks. Absolutely nuts. I'm not looking forward to wiring this up. But at the same time, I sort of am. <laughs> I just don't know how well it's going to go. Is that going to be a problem? I might have just spotted a problem. No. This piece of redstone might... It does. It does. No. Ah. Um, hold on. Can, does it still work like that? Oh, it does. I've saved the day. <laughs> okay, we've got it. We can we can do it. We we I'm sure that we can wire it up. However, that's all I've got time for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you want to see me wire this up, then make sure you subscribe for the next episode. And we shall see you guys in the next episode.